And I like to joke sometimes that I experienced the equivalent of a midlife crisis when I was 20. And why I say that is the questions I remember asking back then are by and large very similar to the kinds of questions that I see people asking today who are experiencing some form of midlife crisis. What's interesting is as at age 20, I made a very different set of decisions around how I wanted to live my life, which, you know, at the time looked very um, contrarian, very counterintuitive. Um, I had a lot of people say I was just crazy and I was never going to amount to anything. But what I'm realizing now, and I think I had this sense deep within me that it was going to work out and that I would build a life of meaning and a purpose but that it might not look like a lot of other people. And what I've discovered is not is that not only is that at the core of flux, but it's also something that I think a lot of people are really hungry to do more of today. And when change hits, that's that moment where you really have to stop and say, wow, am I able to survive this? Am I really aligned with the, the way I like to put it is, you know, the who, what makes you, you? even when everything else changes. And so I could go on and on. I mean, that's one, I, I think that that moment when I was 20 and I had to ask this series of questions in order to survive, but then those, those same questions continued to play out. They continued to lead to more questions and sort of this, this peeling back the onion again, not just on my own life, but then as I looked around and worked with individuals and organizations who are also grappling with change, that I started to see some universalities around what people and companies and organizations and cultures struggle with when it comes to, to change and largely that change that we can't control. 